Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we're going to be talking about everything there is to do in the world of Warcraft for the week of January 16th, 2018. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. The current value of the World of Warcraft token on North American realms is 172,029 gold and on EU realms 270,302 gold. It's Tuesday so don't forget to grab your reroll tokens and recruit your Argus Order Hall minions. The 860 Broken Isle world boss is Nazak the Fiend, and the 930 Greater Invasion point boss is Matron Fulnuna. Patch 7.3.5 is going live today. Right when you log in, you'll get four bonus slots to your primary backpack if you have an authenticator attached to your Battle.net account. Leveling zones will now dynamically scale in experience, difficulty, and rewards. Allied races will not be live today. I know that's been a little bit confusing because lots of data for allied races was added in the patch, but we won't actually see allied races for a little while. There'll be a promotion allowing early access to some allied races before the launch of Battle for Azeroth, similar to the way Demon Hunters released early for Legion pre-orders, but we don't know when that is yet. Wakening Essences will drop 6 times faster, and items purchased with this currency will cost 6 times more. Players can spend 175 Waking Essences to upgrade a 970 Legendary to 1000, or spend 1000 Wakening Essences to buy a random Legendary item for their preferred loot specialization. If you've cleared Antorus on any difficulty, there will be new story quests available for you in Silithus, and on that note, the final wing of LFR will be opening today, so everyone can now clear Antorus, whether you're in a raiding guild or not. This also means that all players will now see the environmental changes in Silithus. In addition to all of the content that will be available to you day one of patch 7.3.5, as well as all of the class and balance changes, there is so much more coming in the future, including new holiday rewards like these transmog flower crowns, Ulduar time walking, story quests which will eventually lead to a new battleground and the retiring of our artifact weapons, and so, so much more. For more information on patch 7.3.5, check out my video that's linked in the info below. Call of the Scarab is a mini holiday running from January 21st through January 23rd. This was notably the most complex micro holiday that Blizzard added with patch 7.1.5, and it seems that this year they're expanding on it even further. New high res bug mounts were added in patch 7.3.5, and while we don't know yet how they're obtained, it makes sense that with the wound in the world and the new quest in Silithus, Blizzard would want to add a little incentive for players to do an event that is conveniently located in the exact same place. It's pretty in line with the upcoming Battle for Azeroth narrative of Horde vs. Alliance too. The winner of Call of the Scarab gets to fly their faction flag for a year, right around the corner from that brand new BG coming soon. For more information on Call of the Scarab, I've got a guide to the event linked in the info below. The archaeology reward this week is the key to Narthalos Academy, and if you are a Harry Potter fan, you're probably going to want to do this because the key will actually eventually reward you with the headmaster or headmistress title. You use the item at Narthalos Academy to access a phased version of the area. Once you're there, win a duel against Elia Azurmoon and you'll be rewarded with the headmaster or headmistress title. Get the key to Narthalos Academy now or you'll have to wait six months because archaeology quests are bi-weekly and last two weeks. If you complete eight of the Legion Archaeology quest, you'll earn an artifact tint for the achievement this side up. The weekly bonus event this week is Pet Battles. During this event, players will be affected by the sign of the Critter buff, which increases the experience gained by your battle pets by 200%. If you're interested in power leveling your pets, this is the best time to do it, and I have a video that is relevant to your interest linked in the info below. The quest for the Pet Battle bonus event is called The Very Best and can be picked up in Dalaran or from your adventure journal. Winning 5 PvP Pet Battles will reward players with an ultimate battle training stone which instantly levels the pet of your choice to 25. Next week's bonus event will be Burning Crusade Time Walking. There is no PvP Brawl this week. PvP Brawls last one week and cycle every two weeks. Next week's PvP Brawl is Deep Wind Dunk. And finally, on to Mythic Plus affixes. And don't forget that every week you can now earn 120 Awakening Essences just by doing one Mythic Plus on any Keystone difficulty. So definitely do that. This week's Mythic Plus affixes are Raging, Necrotic, and Tyrannical. Raging, non-boss enemies enrage at 30% health remaining, dealing 100% increased damage until defeated. Necrotic, all enemies' melee attacks apply a stacking blight that inflicts damage over time and reduces healing received. Tyrannical. Boss enemies have 40% more health and inflict up to 15% increased damage. 
And that's what there is to do this week in the world of Warcraft. It's a whole lot of stuff with the implementation of patch 7.3.5. I am very much looking forward to earning Lore Master the new way by leveling in the new scaling zones. I'm super, super excited about alts right now. You have no idea. Not to mention some of my favorite holidays are coming up in WoW. Not this week, but like next week is the Kirin Tor Tavern Crawl. The week after that is Love is in the Air. So it's a good time to be playing WoW if you're me. But I would love to know what you guys think. What are you looking forward to doing this week in the world of Warcraft? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed my video, please thumb it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you really like it, you can share it with your friends. But if you're anything like me, you don't really have friends to share stuff with. So you have a YouTube channel and then you kind of just talk to people you don't really know. Anyways, this is getting too real, man. I'm going to go. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy patch day. I love you all. You're in my heart. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 It's also pretty in line with the upcoming battle for an Azeroth narrative of Horde versus Alliance with the winner of Call of the Scarab getting to fly their flaction, fly their, frick. <laughs>